Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today, as you can see behind me, we are going herding. We are going to go and have a look at all the big stock around the place, around the farm and all the different out farms. So we're just after finishing our grass walk, or well, we still have one more paddock to measure, but we're just finishing off our grass walk and we're coming by the bulls at home. Now um, we're literally just after moving these bulls today. These are the bulls you may remember from the video, the third rotation. What's wrong? So you may remember these bulls from the video starting our third rotation. These are them bulls. They've done very well since then. Um, I think this is their fifth. Is it the fourth or fifth time uh, finishing the rotation? I think it's the fifth time they finished the rotation. So we're going back to where they were last day. So we're literally just after moving them. You can just see behind me how black that is or dirty that is with the awful night's rain and last few days been very wet and the bridge is nearly gone and the river is actually very high we've as you know, see later in the video i just did a bit when we were down on the grass walk on just some of the flooding there's about seven or eight acres underwater at the minute in different paddocks no so, um, we moved them they were tramping it there's still a bit of grass there but they won't go back down that and dries up but we'll go and we'll have a better look at these lads now um so i'll just turn around the camera so we have great grass here for them. Now we have calves this year all around them. There's calves their side of the wire. There's calves out there. There's calves out there. There's the surround to be calves. But um, these are the lads. Now they've done fierce well since we um since the last time we, I showed them to you. You can see they're a bit brown of themselves from the bit of mucking that went on last night. Now some of the jerseys are a very bit on the small side. Some of them, there's one in particular that is the name Sandy. We will be end up putting him in the freezer because he's not going to do enough to be able to get them they are we have better bulls and we will see more of our stock later on we have far better bulls and i'll be telling you a bit more about them and our plans on them but these lads these will be staying as bulls going into the sheds and being finished we'll try and keep them out for as long as we can these would be coming two year old in end of february march april may will be the last of them for next year they'll that's when their birthdays are so hopefully now we get a bit more size into some of them and and get the good flesh them as it is now they're they're looking fierce well they have great great bit of cover on them and and that like we're very happy with how how they've done how they're doing and our plan is just try and keep them out on grass for as much of as long as we really can if the weather doesn't dry up we'll be forced to put them in um probably after we eat this because their rotation is very wet at the minute and we, it's more important for us to try and keep the calves out longer than these lads but um so that's that's it so we'll skip on we have a good few batches of cattle to see so um as you may have seen in the title this is herding in the polo and um, we are be hopping into the polo now to go look at the rest of the cattle because all the other strong stock we have are all um off on out farm so we've a good few different farms to get to to go see them all we also have to move a few heifers and that so we'll tip on finish our grass walk and we will be on to um going and looking at the rest so now everyone um i just said we were just doing our grass walk i'm going to shoot this video on herding the cattle i don't know where i'm going to put this in the video but um as you can see last night's rain has flooded us and um, there's a few other shots there of some of the flooding and um, it's nearly swept away one of our bridges further up the river it's, it's well fucked now we'll have to take it out the digger and um reset it back into the bank it, it's quite bad actually we might when we go up that far we might have a look but um yeah last night's rain um what day is today the tent the friday nights and our saturday nights and saturday's rain and thursday night's rain has just completely drowned us now hopefully the, the flooding will go down if it doesn't we will be forced to put in our, our bulls because we won't be able to keep them out and we were literally just after moving them as i might have said and um, because of how bad the, the the ground conditions are under them so we moved i had to move them early but um yeah no winter has started in the middle of august for us hopefully now this goes down and it dries up again but that's all we can do is hope so we'll keep moseying on so you might just remember this this is the ford where we crossed in the 35 
across the river as you can see it's level you can't actually tell there's the dip down and up again and that is was oh, it's a month ago now i think since i filmed that Bertie's going for a swim um but yeah if i was to do it again now i'd say i'd end up getting wet like proper wet and the tractor would get a good wash but um yeah that's it we'll keep moseying on so here we are now we're just about to head off in the polo the polo to um go do the harden the jeep is sort of out of commission it's um having some clutch problems so we can't bring it too far uh, we're waiting on um waiting to get it fixed so we're gonna go do the herding in my girlfriend's polo she's very happy that we're going in it in the dirty wellies but sure how whenever these jobs have to be done so we'll keep moving so here we are at the first out farm um we've only one by one batch of bulls here and we caught a good bit of silage off this and we have tillage as well so our massive drill there as well and me all saxo poking it's our of the shed there so here we are now with these big bad boys so these are our other batch of bulls there's about the same here just over 50 bulls now they're not all here we'll have to go for a bit of a walk just to check on them they're semi free range not grazing paddocks so to speak they've the run of three fields and then there's two fields then that we swap and change them so we let them into one shut them off the other just to try and keep grass ahead of them but because it's these tree fields are a bit on the rough side that we um, don't try and, and paddock it also we have some of it fenced and there's still more fencing to do here so these are much bigger bulls better bulls uh, most pretty much all Frisians now um, the plan is that we're going to try and finish some of these off the grass we're so happy now i actually think there's some of the better ones are must be out the back we'll have to go have a look for them but um the plan is we're going to try and finish some of these kind of off grass i'm going to do a separate video on the plan plans about that because i don't think it i have enough time to fade into this one and i think i might make a nice video on its own so that's the bulls here we'll go for a bit of a walk as well and see can we find the rest of them well, there's only about 20 there so there should be another 30 hiding somewhere so we'll go have a look for them so we found other bulls here they are out here these are actually these are the better bulls out here well, this is a bit of a shithole there now um but yeah no found them out here so we'll go and we'll have a um well i'll make me another video while i'm here and we will be on then to look at the rest of them we still have heifers and bullocks and that'll be all the bulls seen now after this but we've heifers and bullocks to go see after this the other boys are coming up to say hello so so now here we are with the first batch of heifers that we're going to meet so these were the worst of the heifers that we put out in the spring and we put them here on this farm just open this gate so we have to move these now when we get out here we're just moving them on to the next paddock so there's good square ground here there's one two three four five six seven eight paddocks in this field and that's kept these batch of heifers and another batch of bullocks going the bullocks are actually further down um so we'll get to them so we can cross here now Ooh. so these are heifers a mixture of herefords anguses and i actually think there's two frisians or three frisians in it and one of them so i have been reliably informed is in calf this one here that one there me uncle is pretty sure she's in calf now how far away is she probably still another bit away and um, that's when did the bull get to her i don't know but um he's quite sure she's in calf so um not the first time it's happened where we've had one of our heifers now very unusual for the frisian heifers to go in calf here because all the frisian heifers we have there's actually three there's one that's a jersey heifer frisian heifer they're all uh twin to bulls we get them as freebies because the dairy farmers just don't want them and it's the second time actually now that we've had a frisian heifer going calf so now maybe she's not in calf maybe my uncle's just out of touch with the with the job but he reckons she's in calf 
So um, it's going to be interesting whether we'll sell her on before she calves when we know for definite that she's going to calve when her bag drops and that. Um, but other than that, that's them with 18 here. So we go and we'll move these now. So we'll just move them on to the next paddock over. So these girls are very easy. If they'll just follow me up here, we'll just take off the handle, stand back out of the way, and they'll just come on through onto the next paddock. So this is another bit of out farm that we've rented. And um, it's great, we, we rented it and there was quite a lot of paddocks on it. Uh, well, it was mostly in paddocks and then we paddocked up again using some of the fencing that was on the farm. So, just swing this round here and let these girls out. That's them. They, they have a good paddock there. That'll do them another three or four days before we'll have to move them again. But it's done a great job on them now. For being what was the worst of what we had out of the sheds. They've definitely caught up with the caught up with the other batch, which we'll see at the very end of the video, as they're the last up, the furthest away from the farm. So we'll keep moseying on now. We've two more batches of bullocks to see while we're in this block of land here. And um, then we'll be going on then to the far away out farms, far away, they're too far away really, um, and have a look at the cattle that's out there. So we'll leave it at that for this bit. So now we're just in the yard on our way out to look at the next batch of bullocks on this out farm. Um, we have the whole farm rented including the sheds and we made hay off the most of the ground here and we put it into this hay shed and it is a massive hay shed. As you can see there, five bales high. I think, if I remember rightly, there was 36 bales in the face of it. There's a whole, there's, as we put in 200, over 200 bales into a third of the shed. So it'll hold, it definitely holds 600 bales of hay, that shed. And if the telly, now telly will only put them up five high, but if I had a larger telly potter, I could get them six high. There's about, I say you get about three bales, maybe four, at the very top of that again, up six high. It is just, you might have seen an Instagram picture of the telly in front of it, but it's it's just some some shed just to hold hay. But, um, so that's there, we'll probably end up wintering cattle out here, as there's a slatted, uh, slatted shed here with it. So um, we'll go out now and we'll look at the bulls, and I'll stop So now, here we are with our bullocks on this farm. So, as you can see, a lot of Frisian, few jerseys, there's one fantastic jersey here, there he is there, fake Sean. Now look at that, that is some jersey now. So he is, he is some jersey. Look at the, look, he's, now, the plan is, we'll be finishing, we'll try and finish, maybe a few of these off, off grass, kind of, like um, what I was saying in the other video of with the bulls. We'll pick the best out of here and the best out of our other batch of bullocks and then we'll put them together along with some of the best of our heifers and we'll try and finish them off grass uh, before the end of September, if we can at all. It might be a fruitless activity, but we'll just have to wait and see, see how we get on. But this is our batch of bullocks. So we've a mixture of a few Herefords there, mostly Frisians, and a few Jerseys. Um, we never done bullocks with the Frisians before or Jerseys. The whole reason because when we were laying them out in the spring and with the way the beef trade was starting to go we were like we gotta try something different so we decided to squeeze them to try and take a bit of the it's easier to sell a bullock than a bull all the time Frisian bullock might be harder sold than a, a charlie or limousine bullock but he's still easier than a Frisian bull and we said we'd try jerseys as well just to see how they did there seems to be a big downer on the jersey bullock and with the jersey bull we've always gone on 110% couldn't fault them maybe some of them might be a bit small but can't really fault them but we squeezed a few I think four or five just to see how they do see as a worthwhile squeezing them um, just so we know for doing it in the future but um, this is the batch of bullocks here so that's them so we will head on now and we'll go look at um, 
another batch of bullocks then we have another batch of bullocks and then the last batch of heifers to look at before the end of the video so we will be on and look at so them. here we are now with another batch of our bullocks um these are at the other end of where the heifers are now this isn't in a so to speak in paddocks this is um we've cut silage off it twice this year uh, bales and um if we can hold the bullocks on the other field we've cut this again before the end of the year if we can't we can't we have to wait and see same again mostly frisians here a few more herefords we'll just keep walking down to have a look at them and um, there's also uh, two or three angus not too many there's also a belt of galloway out here somewhere or should be anyways but um same again they're doing ferocious well we're very happy with them especially how some of the herefords have gone on they've just done fantastic um we're very happy just just very happy cattle this year has been a great year for cattle they've done fantastic oh uh, there's the belty galloway it's like a little small runt of a lad you can see him there but um we're very happy with how the all the cattle have been doing i don't know is there any out here that will try and finish off grass now they're they're very they're small they're not over big but they're better rounded animals like that lad there has a nice nice bit of a round on them but um yeah no that's that's another one of the batches so we'll be on now two more batches to be seen to for we have seen all the large stock or older stock that's outside at the minute and um yeah that's really it then so anyways so we're just on our way out to go look at the furthest way cattle now i was hoping that my girlfriend would do the driving and i'd be able to do a little thing saying i'm being chauffeured around to do the herding in her polo but no i'm driving thanks Libby. anyways i just said i'd say that maybe you might find that funny maybe you won't Right. Oh, fuck's sake, what am I at? Concentrate on the road. Okay, anyways, that's it. I just wanted a different shot of driving while I was doing that and talking shite. You know yourself. Usual out of crack. Don't think I've anything to say about so. Did you go turn off now? That's fine, yeah. So, here we are now with the heifers. Um, oh, there's a big block of land here. It's in different fields, but there's no fence and bar. We put up um, a road fence, or well, temporary tape for a road fence just to keep them away from it. So these are all our heifers. Um, I think they're actually all Angus heifers, don't you say, Frisians up here. There's a couple of Angus with white bellies on them all right. But um, these are all our Angus heifers doing fierce well now. Lots of grass for them up here. Um, there's actually there's a Hereford over there as well. I didn't think there was. But um, also, some of these now, there is some of these are older heifers. Um, I see if I can find one, I'll point one out. But there is some of these are older. There were ones that should have been, would have been killed in the previous cycle of cattle, but weren't. We decided to let them out, let them go on and see whether we could get a bit more size in them. There's one of them there now, 1991. That's one of them. So the likes of her now, um, she's a bit of size in her. Um, she's actually a bit of fat on her there now. But the likes of her, the biggest of them, we might bring the biggest uh, four or five away and uh, bring them home, put them with the bullocks or wherever we're going to put the bullocks. And as I said before, we'll see if we can finish them off grass and give them, well, kind of give them a meal as well, just to help things along. But there's all our heifers now lovely quiet girls we had absolutely no problems with um red water this year i think last year we had one case up here but we had no problems at all uh this year with red water we had um i think we had two cases of mastitis up here which i actually didn't know that heifers could get mastitis i thought that was only a cow thing but no and um, we had two of these that got mastitis we didn't do them any harm it's not going to really matter. They're not going to be going for cows or anything. They're all beef. But um, yeah, no, that's them now. So, so now here we are at the la with the last batch 
of bullocks, last bunch of cattle of all their stock that we have to look at today. So these are them, all Angus bullocks here. Just specifically put out here. It's literally just one big field they have just on the outskirts of Ballymatton. One big field and this is the bullocks. All Angus bullocks done ferocious well so they have ferocious well. There's a good few of them here now. Grass, we thought with the number, we, we thought we'd put too many here and we'd have to be taking a few away. But um, we haven't. The grass, the grass is keeping well ahead of them. And there's no shortage of it for them. But they've done for phenomenally well. We are extremely happy with how, we're extremely happy with all the, cat, all the cattle are doing for us as well this year. It's just a great year for them. I've had no trouble with them out here. And um, hopefully now the same as with um, some of the, the heifers and the bulls that we were looking at. We might pay, take away some of the biggest of these to see if we can, with a bit of encouragement, with a bit of meal, see if we can get enough weight and flesh on them to get them finished that grass. Like that book there has a good bit of size in them, a good bit of a frame on, on them. But this is them. This is all the cattle. We'll flip this around now. You've seen all our all our older stock now. Um, as, I, as I've said many of the time already, we're very happy. It's been a great year for the older stock. They've done phenomenally, phenomenally well. Um, all going well now. We'll get a good back end and we'll be able to keep them out for as long as possible before putting them in. And um, a lot of what you've seen will be finished this winter when they go in. They'll start getting their rations and we'll start finishing them up. We'll try and have a lot of them gone by um, March or April next year. That is how we do do our business. Um, well, a lot of the bullocks now, especially with the freezings and that, we don't know. Um, our Chagas advisor is recommending that we put them back out to grass, give them another few months and try and finish them again next year. Um, finish them off grass. We are debatable. We might try some, like with the, some of the older heifers we were looking at there. Uh, we might try it with some of the bullocks and some of the heifers will probably maybe the, the lightest and ones that we won't be able to get enough weight on in that space of time that they just end up being in the shed too long. So we will probably um, maybe put 10 or, or 20 to go out for their third summer um, and try and solely finish them off grass if at all possible. Maybe as we're doing with some of this year's batch with a bit of meal. Uh, just to try and spread out when we kill our cattle not to have just a huge pile being killed at the one time because if everyone does that it leads to a glut and leads to bad prices for everyone so we'll try and space it out as best we can with them to the best of our ability but that is really it I don't think I have too much else too much more to say if you have any comments anything like that you want to ask about these cattle or any of the, our dairy beef system as always hit me down in the comments down below more than happy to do it also now that I'm moved out of the house and in my own a wood I am hoping to maybe one Sunday in the future do a Q&A session a live Q&A session give myself a, a camera or um, a, I can't think of the word a webcam and then um, do a live Q&A session on YouTube if you have any if you think that's a good idea or you'd like to partake in, in that please hit me down in the comments down below give this a uh, video a like or any of that just let me know that's something you'd like to see and I will do it um, that's it from me as always please like and subscribe to my channel hats that's not on my head you know where to get them in the description down below on ebay.com uh, you can head over there and get yourself one beanie or baseball cap with the farmer phil logo and that is it from me good luck